the spirit of the people is more powerful than the man's technology. And when people recognize their power, the power to say no, the power to say enough, the power to say, well, damn it, let's get together and change this thing, then anything is possible.
Let people know that it is necessary that we must unify on all levels and all the areas of oppression we must deal with them. That right here in the confines of racist America, racism must be stopped. We did not make the laws in this country. We are neither mor morally nor legally confined to those laws. Those laws that keep them up keep us down. It's always been a society of working class whites pitted against blacks. Uh, white America is by and large uh, a, racist, uh, a racist people, and uh, not only to black people in the colony here, but to people of color all over the world. Black people need some peace. Black people need some peace. And we are going to have to fight. We're going to have to struggle. We're going to have to struggle relentlessly to bring about the peace. Because the people that we have to
United States government now wants to turn this great destructive force into something good for mankind. experience on this historic flight. I suppose it was when the clouds opened up over the target at Nakasaki. The target was there pretty as a picture. I made the run, let the bomb go. That was my greatest thrill. That was my greatest thrill. That was my greatest thrill. The greatest thrill. The greatest thrill. The greatest thrill.
could see it in the eyes of a child. You can hear it in the voice of the old. The struggle for meaning, for reason, acceptance, completion. The eyes of hope and the voice of reason. The words of wisdom and the strength of a vision. The truth is written in all of our eyes. The strength and the weakness, the sheer act of choosing to live your rough fucking life.